Hello everyone, this is crazy and this is going to be the final eight game of Pharos vs. Aces High. I am joined in the casting booth with Dark Uncle. Hello. Helveticus. What's up? And Jimber. Hello. And so as you can see, this is a final eight game. Oh, we are already in the game. All right. Uh, in the bottom left, we have Freshness, who opened Ion Cannon, Merce opening Imp, Extreme JPR opening Hull, one armor and one gat, Money Scan opening looks like range probably, uh, Vic Guns opening Yamato, and General X opening five beam. Yes, that's right, Game five beam. Oh, and we got a pause. Um, the Pharaohs. What do we got in Pharaohs? Yes, I'm sorry. What do we have on the aces high? Pharaohs are in the bottom left. Uh, so we got Nightmare, who's opened, looks like, uh, range uh, for his BC. Uh, missiles, uh, one missile. Mm -hmm. um, Minsoki is open with explosive charge. Big Jam is standard colo, 4-3. And another pause. Uh, Dead Knight is... Shield recharge, looks like. Yep. Uh, Guardian... Oh, he's a Guardian. Uh, he is range... He got 10 range. Let's see, how is it? Yeah, yeah he got 2 speed. Yeah. And Red Dog is... Shield recharge. He's all... Yeah, he's he a big battery. Yep. Yeah. So they're looking to push. We got, I don't know, do you think that this is a cheese opening from our pharaohs? The yam open is interesting. Yeah. I mean, when but you call cheese, I'm going to They got three ships in, in, in yeah, land and they then do three going there. slide. Oh, money, I'm sorry, money did not go range. Money was saving, he got corrosive acid. We got Acid, we got Ion, and we got Yamato, dude. But they're pushing, they need to let them come back a little so that they can make this work. They're gonna see him now. Oh, it's too late. Uh, you gotta fall back. Work. Will Cheese Fail, Episode 1. Yep, I don't think it's gonna work. Okay, they're going after the Colo. We got the Corrosive. A Yam. Where's the Yam? Vic guns, you don't oh. got the range. There's an M. He has no speed. <laughs> Plus, he's just slowing down because of the acid. Oh, oh extreme is is be a Oh, Vic freshness is getting charged. With the Yamato. And Vic guns a little Freshness oh, is 600 we got a life. Minsoki is on him. Oh, this is looking bad. Minsoki charges freshness. up. He's oh. gone. Freshness is gone. There's a turn. <laughs> extreme JPR is low. Vic Guns is Vic low. Guns is also stuck in there. Vic Guns is 1,500, 400. Oh, he's oh dead. God. Going down. <laughs> uh -oh. Money scan oh, is 1,600, 200. Oh. Gone. Oh, oh. Also falls. Going, going, and gone. Okay, we got um. Yeah, that's so probably Pedro game. Just stuck <laughs> with three ships left. Just like that before the five minute mark. Oh, ouchies. Not only are they stuck, but they're I, also. Did, did the Yamato ever go off? The farm. Yeah, they got it off one. What did he shoot with it? Uh, cool. Oh, okay. So, does anyone know what happened there? Does anyone have any idea why that failed? Uh, I didn't, well, didn't they focus. Didn't manage much. to get on a ship. Yeah, the, and I, the rest of the they got excited. middle didn't, didn't draw far enough back in order they, to mm -hmm. make an opportunity. What they're going for the highest the... life ship, right? I mean, if they had gotten on anything else, like I thought they were going for the guard, but the guard was not in the right position, right? That's what exactly like, they had to go for the Colossus because the Colossus was the only thing slow enough for them to actually get on. But the Colossus yep. was the one most likely to survive, especially with the shield recharge, right? I'll like, tell you, this happened uh, a tournament or two ago where. We did the same thing, we turned in too early, and there was pushing going on, and we, we just ended up, you know, it just ended up in a CF. <laughs> it did yeah, not totally. work. 
you got to actually the, the team that's out and visible needs to fall back and let the other team, move, the, the opposing team, move forward so that you can catch them unawares and get behind them. Really. That's yeah. There definitely that's, wasn't enough patience on their flank there. They yes. cut in way too early, like you said. Yes. You have to actually be behind them. It, it, it's it's hard to gauge. And it's like, too, it's very exciting. I can I can hear. I can hear them in the in the team speak. Okay, go make make the cut now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all on general now uh, as the voidery. I mean, this is interesting. The same kind of tactic was used in the earlier tournament game this week, Salvo uh -huh. against VVA, where Salvo tried to take a ship out with a first push very deep and ended up losing. In that case, they lost one ship. In this case, three ships. But a team that is seen as maybe weaker then the stronger team in the game tries to push off the first push and fails. Yep. So it looks like... I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's all in the Void Ray. I think this is like... I mean... You, the Destroyer, you if, he gets on a, if he gets on somebody who's uh, squishy, he could... The uh, Extreme JPR could turn this around. Uh, Extreme's probably going to go for Siege. I mean, he doesn't have... Yeah, he's going for Siege. He's gonna need some extreme luck. Yeah. <laughs> he's hoping to stall at this point, I think, is what I can stand yep. here, but... I mean, they have... Maybe they'll get the... They have like, Arbiter the and they have uh, Overlord, so they have two forms of Denial. They have Lockdown, and they can get Parasite. I don't see... I mean, I don't think they're gonna get all that stuff, because they're just gonna take both towers, like, pretty much immediately. I don't see they're how they're trying to take the towers the bottom tower up on the bottom tower. Ranger right now. Yep. Yep. All the creep. Extreme got siege. I get that. Here we go. Let's see if he can. He can but he doesn't have the energy. He has, he has no energy to use it now. So. He has to wait until oh. he, uh, for a hundred energy, and that power is gonna be gone by then. Yeah, <laughs> fifty. Most likely. Oh yeah. Got to get to one hundred fifty. Now he's oh he got locked down. Oh there goes the energy. Oh zero. <laughs> I think his best bet at this point is huddle at the base and try and not get locked down or EMP'd. Yeah, I mean, the thing is that, you know, maybe in like a pub game, sometimes you used to be able to get away, you know, being down three shifts, but anymore, like in a tournament, people know you just take towers with what you have. You don't need lots of ups. You just need just the sheer force of your ships, and you just, once both towers are down, they, they really just can't prevent you from killing them. The extreme is up to 138. Does he he's gonna get oh come on back up back up okay siege up <laughs> there he goes there he goes so, All he's right. like so the tower is already gone them. I'm going in base. Yep. And it looks like General is going out to do some back farming. They're probably gonna back now I would guess. The red dog is sitting on a thousand farm Delta's going back with a thousand. Soki's going back with a thousand. Dead Knight's going back with four seventy. Big Jam's going back with eight sixty. And Nightmare's going back with seven sixty. Well, if they base snipe with a VR, they might be able to <laughs> take two towers out and then the base. <laughs> yeah, with a two hundred farm void ray, <laughs> who has blink and does not have charge at this point. He's going back with 195. He can he can buy charge. All right, Soki is going back out with. What else did he get? He just went. He didn't. Get, he just got charges. Yeah, yeah. He, I think he got charge upgrades. It's uh 2580 damage on the charges right now. Locked in. Scan. He got five beam already. He opened five beam. Oh, he opened five beam. Oh, okay. That was that was part of the initial cheese. Ooh, the guard got parasite. Yeah, they got lots of counters to the void ray. They're like, we're not gonna let him do anything fancy. We got scan. We got parasite. Delta has siphon. They have lockdown. Red dog has feedback and cloak. <clears throat> The only theoretical kill here would be on Red Dog, and I just don't see it. Uh, not likely to happen. I 
my biggest fear here for, for Extreme is, is if he loses his energy. Okay, good. He did. Yeah, he's getting into he the jumped. siege mode now. Hide out under that. <laughs> if, if he gets EMP, then definitely game. Well, what is this, the Gats at? Let's see. Gats are at two? Two? Well, that's not gonna do much. Though. Only does like 870 damage. And there, there is also a bug with Siege Mode where it doesn't even affect the, uh, the Dreadnought correctly, so he, he can never really push the Dreadnought out with Siege Mode. He's really only trying to push, keep the Guardian and the Overlord outside, but they're already destroying this. Oh, this, the Raven's dead already. Yeah, Raven's already dead. It's over. Yep, Raven couldn't get blackout in time. The Dread's also gonna go down here. Oh, Void Rave came back. He has Shoot, charge. He a little too late. Dread's too little gone. too late. Full beam, charge. He's parasited. He's getting destroyed and he GG'd out. Alright, and that's our first game. So we're going, this is a best of three. This is a single elimination format, so if Pharaohs loses the next game, they cannot win first price anymore, but they are then competing for third place. All right, I will see you in the next game. Thanks for casting with me on this one, everyone. Thank you.